Okay, it's now one-on-one. I'm going to go ahead and start off with um, welcoming you guys back to Sugar Creek. And here's a video from the middle school administrator staff. Greetings, new and returning students, parents, and guardians. I am Ms. Leverett, the middle school principal for grades five through eight. Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. We are so excited to see everyone. Before we get started with our open house, I would like to take a moment to introduce the middle school administrative staff. We'll start with Ms. Gaddy. Hello, and welcome to a year of adventure and learning. My name is Melissa Gaddy, and I am the ELA curriculum facilitator for grades five through eight. My primary role is to support teachers as they offer quality and engaging ELA instruction that aligns with the North Carolina standard study. Hello and welcome to the new school year. My name is Shira Everett and I'm the ELA instructor coach. I will be working with the teachers as they help your scholars grow and develop this year. Good afternoon, parents and students. My name is Karina Livingston, the curriculum facilitator and instructional coach for science, PBL science and social studies. And I look forward to working alongside all of you as we navigate virtual learning and as the sign says behind me, we will do whatever it takes to ensure your student success. Good day, Sugar Creek family. I'm Liddell Maynard, the testing coordinator and instructor for PBL um, Science and Social Studies. Um, my role is to work with teachers to improve instruction, and I look forward to having a great school year. Greetings, Sugar Creek family. My name is Angela Morrow, and I am the middle school math curriculum coach <coughs> for grades five through eight. My role is to support all teachers and students in making this school year a success in the area of mathematics. Welcome everyone. My name is Karen Wilson. I am the curriculum facilitator and math instructional coach here at Sugar Creek. I will be working with our middle school math team to ensure that your students receive the highest level of mathematics instruction this year. Greetings, Sugar Creek Wildcat family. My name is Andy Samuel, and I am your middle school of students. Uh, my primary role is to ensure consistent student attendance, academic achievement, and positive behavioral expectations while we are online. Parents and students, I do want to emphasize the importance of your child or children being present for online instruction each day. We have put together an instructional plan for students to learn and grow academically just would if they were in the building. But in order for this to happen, we need for all of our students to participate in live class instruction each day. Our teachers will discuss the attendance policy during their presentation, so I'll pause here. Welcome again, students. We will see you online on August 17th at 8 a.m. And that was our administrative staff. Okay, once again, welcome to the fifth grade portion of Open House at Sugar Creek. I'm Mr. Harmon. I'm currently the um, reading teacher on Pod 1, and I'm the fifth grade lead teacher. Pod 1 includes Ms. Robinson. She's the math teacher. Myself, Mr. Harmon, I'm the reading teacher and Ms. Dirt, and she's the science teacher. Hello, I'm Mrs. Robinson. Um, I am the fifth grade math teacher. Um, here's a little bit about me. I was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm the oldest of three. I graduated from Morgan State University, and I've been teaching for five years. This is my sixth year teaching. Um, and I've only been at Sugar Creek for 
partial of last year and this is my first full year. Um, I have a super sweet three-year-old son and a super sour one-year-old daughter. <laughs> And I am a member of Massage Envy because I love to get massages, um, to relax, and I like to do word searches. I love any spicy food. Um, I like zip lining and creating bracelets. I actually have my own bracelet shop online. And here are a few pictures of my family. So, here is my daughter. Um, when she was born, we had a difficult labor. So this is a special picture for me. Here's my husband, myself, my two children at um, the zoo here in Troopman, I believe. And then here is another picture of us at, at um, Edie's, which is where you can eat um, on the water. And here's my children again, my husband and my son. Um, we went camping over the summer, and here is a picture of my sister and I, and that is all. I'm excited to teach you guys. Okay, let's give Ms. Robinson some love. Once again, I'm Mr. Harmon. I'm fifth grade reading teacher for Pod 1. I'm also the fifth grade lead teacher. I'm a native of South Carolina. I'm the youngest of eight children. I graduated from Francis Marion University, which is the number two school in South Carolina. Um, I taught, I've taught school for 17 years, and this is my 18th year of teaching. I've been married for seven years. I love to travel and laugh. I was teacher of the year twice, my first year of teaching and my 14th year of teaching. The pictures to your, to your right are pictures of Francis Marion. If you can see the logo, the building behind it is the college. Beside that picture, to the right of that picture, is a picture of me and two basketball players. I was the captain of the Charlotte Hornets for, for one game. Beside that is an engagement picture between myself and my wife. And above that is when we visited the White House. To the left of that is uh, me swimming with a dolphin in Jamaica. Um, beside that is me, and my wife and myself in Aruba, we were on a safari trip. Beside that is a picture from the wedding. Above that is a letter, uh, postcard from President Obama and Michelle Obama congratulating us on being married. And above that is a picture from the honeymoon in Aruba as well, as well as um, my wife and myself in a cave and beside that um me i said i like to laugh and then we were joking around at a wedding of one of my friends and below that is um myself and nick Cosier, who's the dancing weatherman i invited him to my class two years ago and that's my little world All right, so good afternoon, everybody. My name is Miss Durton. Um, I am born. I was born and raised in Greenville, South Carolina. <clears throat> I'm the middle child of three on my mom's side, and I'm the second oldest of five on my dad's side. I graduated from the best HBCU, Claflin University, which is also located in South Carolina. I have a dog child. Um, I love serving in the community, and I love traveling, cooking, mainly meal prep. Um, and I love listening to music and working out as stress relievers. So I have my graduation picture along with um, the event I threw, um, my Fairy Godmother project. Um, I also have a um, few pictures of my students from last year in the field trip that we had went on to the Discovery Place. I went to LA, so I just got a picture of JLo's Hollywood star along with Miami and the skyline. And the bottom corner is a picture of my dog, Don. And that's all about me. Let's give Ms. Durton some love. Okay, now we have part pod two. We have Mr. Artist, who's the math teacher. We have Ms. McNeil who's a reading teacher, and Mr. Samuels, who's the science teacher. Hey, everyone. 
I'm Mr. Gary Artis. I'm the math teacher and I'm extreme, before I get into this, I'm extremely excited about teaching you all and working with you guys through this, uh, these trying times. But anyway, I'm, I was born in Washington, D.C. Um, I have a sibling, a sister. Uh, she goes, she's uh, getting her master to, master's degree at uh, North Carolina Central. Uh, I graduated from the best, I think, WSSU, uh, Winston-Salem State, the best w, uh, HBC. I've been teaching for six years, and I've been at Sugar Creek for five years. Um, I just got married in 2019, coming up on a year in September, so I'm excited about that. And my loves are basketball, specifically the Wizards. I love family, and I have a passion for cars. So my pictures, uh, you can see one of my passions is my old school car. I like to do that when I'm not teaching. Uh, the other picture, the suit on, that was last year at Open House. Um, picture with me with the Wizards jersey, that's just my passion, the Wizards. And then a picture at the bottom, that's me two years ago teaching fifth grade. I got caught by a coach doing something. I can't remember what, but I got caught by a coach for that. And then the one in the middle is a picture of the wedding. Thank you. Let's give Mr. Artis some love. Ms. McNeil. Haha, ha, just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I was muted, but I am Ms. McNeil, a Fayetteville, North Carolina native. I received my Bachelor of Arts in English Language and Literature from Fayetteville State University. While attending the university, I also cheered for all four years. This was my second year at Sugar Creek Charter. I am excited to be one of the fifth grade ELA teachers. Um, this year will be unique, but that is what will make this experience most memorable. Um, to the right, this big picture of me is last year's first day of school, my first year teaching fifth grade. The first picture and the next column is of uh, one of my classes from last year during their projects. The second picture is me, my two oldest brothers, and my parents. And then the last picture is me in my tree uniforms. Thank you. Let's give Miss McNeil some love. Yes, good afternoon, guys. I'm Mr. Samuels. I'll be a fifth grade science teacher for pod two. I was raised in Atlanta, Georgia, a majority of my life in Atlanta, Georgia, the best city ever. Uh, five siblings. I got my undergraduate degree at Syracuse University. I went to grad school at Indiana University. This will be my second year at Sugar Creek Charter School. I'm also the founder of a nonprofit organization uh, called Build One Incorporated. Um, I played Division One football at Syracuse University and Indiana University. Um, I enjoy music, movies, sports, and literature. Um, these pictures I have on the right, a couple of pictures of my students last year for sixth grade science. Um, and uh, this couple of their projects that they created. Uh, I start, I wanted to, to put images of their work because they really, really bought in to science last year and, and produced some great things. Um, and also got a picture of me on the bottom left. Uh, clearly after the game I'm with my teammate, um, I just want to give you guys a perspective of, of that. Um, and thank you. Let's have a phenomenal year. Let's give Mr. Samuel some love. Ms. Bishop. Ms. Bishop. Sorry, I was muted. Okay, good afternoon. I am Ms. Bishop, the middle school math intervention teacher. I have been teaching math at Sugar Creek for 15 years now, and I am looking forward to doing this for some years to come. An interesting fact about me is that I have dual citizenship, I'm a citizen of Jamaica and of the US. Now the intervention team for middle school 
consists of myself, fifth through eighth grade math, Miss Hardy, five through eight, she'll be teaching um, ELA intervention, and our wonderful intervention coordinator, Miss Cherise Graham. Um, intervention. Intervention classes are taught Monday through Thursday from 12.30 to 3 p.m. This instruction is differentiated based on the individual need of our students. It is data-driven instruction on a daily or weekly basis. That means that we look at the work that your child has done and from that, we analyze and determine what next we are going to do with that student. They will have a weekly progress monitoring. We don't call it a test because, you know, it's just a short, small assessment to see um, where they are so we'll know where to move to next. Which students are eligible for intervention? These are the students who have definitely the ones if they have been retained because we know for sure they need support. And the students who are returning from the previous year, that I mean if you were in intervention in fourth grade, you would now be in intervention in fifth grade. And in addition, during the school year, we will have students referred from the EC department and those will also join the intervention class. Thank you. Let's give Ms. Bishop some love. Important date, remote learning will start Monday, August 17, 2020. Classes start promptly at 8 a.m. Uh, orientation agenda, August 17, remote learning expectations, remote schedule, Canvas overview, I already overview and teachers on Zoom. All of that will be happening in your classes on Monday. And on Tuesday, you will get an intro, your scholar will get an introduction to and practice with specific technology applications with teachers on Zoom. And on Wednesday and Thursdays, the teacher, I mean, your scholars will participate in the I ready diagnostic and technology practice with your teachers, with their teachers on Zoom. This is a copy of your scholars um, schedule for remote learning from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. We will have your core, they will have their core one. Then they will have a 10 minute break in between. From 9, 10 to 10, 10, they will have their core two, which is their second block class. Then another 10 minute break and from 1020 to 1120 will be their third block class. And then they will have um, related arts or specials at 1130 from 12, from 1130 to 1230. After that, they will go to lunch. Then we'll have small groups for extra support. And the teacher's office hours are from 2.45 p.m. to 3.15 p.m. Monday through Friday. Okay, so let's talk about etiquette for successful remote learning. All right, this is very important, guys. So every day we want you to be on time for live Zoom sessions, right? Uh, time is very important. Dress in school appropriate clothing during live Zoom sessions. So try not to uh, come to Zoom on in your pajamas and uh, and whatnot, your onesies, okay? Use appropriate language in class chats and inboxes, right? Let's show, be respectful uh, amongst each other. And last but not least, work in the area that's free of background distractions while on Zoom. Okay, so this is important. Uh, attendance policies and procedures, please, please, pay attention to this part right here. So daily attendance is quiet for remote instruction 
and t attendance will be taken by teachers and recorded in power school each day. So please make sure you're getting online on situations different, but just please make sure you get you getting online. Uh, students will be counted as present if they attend live class sessions on Zoom. So if you come to the class session, you will be counted as present. The next bullet. Students who have limited access to the internet will be counted as present if they attend a scheduled check-in session with their teacher by phone using Google Voice. Next, students will be counted as present if they watch the recorded videos of the live class session and also complete and submit all assignments by the original due date. So still get those assignments in. Last point. If a student is not able to attend a live class session due to being sick or a family emergency, they will be counted as present if they watch the recorded videos of the missed class sessions and also complete and submit the missed assignment or assignments. Okay, so these are some helpful tips. Um, for you to be successful um, while you're learning from home. Attend live sessions on Zoom daily. Get at least eight hours of sleep each night. Eat breakfast each morning before class. Use earbuds or headphones to minimize background noise so we don't hear everyone's um, music or siblings or anything in the background while we're trying to learn. And study your content daily and complete all of your assignments. All right, guys, so these are just some helpful tools if you need any help um, with anything we cannot assist you with. So if you need support as far as your computer and your hotspot, then there is um, an email address for our technology help desk, which is sccs support at thesugarcreek.org. Everything that I'm saying, I will drop into the chat so that y'all will have access to it as well. Um, so as far as the PowerSchool setup, if you need help with PowerSchool, the Google form will be dropped in the chat as well. Um, as far as remote classes details, um, you can get all of your classes and access to your classes and assignments on to Canvas class pages. And the student schedules, they will be sent out via email this Friday, August the 14th. So that's when you will get those emails about your schedules and your um, and everything. Um, as far as just general information, you can go to the school's website, which is www.thesugarcreek.org. And if you don't have any internet access at all, feel free to give us a call and I will drop that number as well. Okay, um, can you guys take a moment and go to the chat? I posted a link. It's very important that you click on that link and fill out the information um, in, that the link is asking for. Can you take a moment and do that for me, please? What they You got to sign. You got to do this right now. What? Do this. Mr. Harmon, just yeah. Talk can to my, your, to my email. your mic for me, please. Oop, I think that's... Ms. McNeil. McNeil. Yeah, we're excited about the year and look forward to seeing your students at orientation on the first day of school. Welcome what? to fifth grade. Okay, if, if you have any questions, we can answer them via email when you fill out that form. We're so excited about this school year. We can't wait to meet your scholars on Monday. Have a good evening. Uh, bye guys. Bye, y'all.
Harmon, do we stay on? What, what do we do? You can leave. I have a right, question. Have a I can try and answer. Um, so I guess on Friday, I will find out if Simon is in pod one or pod two. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and who do I have to check, double check that they got my email? Because I didn't even know there was a conference today until I called the school. If you fill out that form that I put in the chat, we can better assist you. So if you fill out that form, we can help you. Because we probably didn't have the right email address or telephone number. So if you correct all that on the form, we can better assist you. Okay. Um, I have a question. Um, the link is not clicking in order to fill it out. Um, can you uh, copy it? Um, Are you clicking on the link? Yeah, but it's not allowing me to either. I'm on the Zoom call for Gloria School. What? Press this. Yeah, you just have to click it several times. It will open. I had to click it like three or four times and it opened. Is that link also on the website or just on here? It's just on here. Mr. Harmon, this is Miss Edie. Yes, Can you please give me, I, I complete the link. Could you please call me at your earliest convenience? Okay, um, your email. Sometime this afternoon, email, text, yeah. or um, or call me because the questions I have, you guys did not even tack on. So you didn't even mention. So please call me at your earliest convenience. Okay. You said Miss Edie, right? Yep, Tracy Edie, Gloria's mom. Okay. And also, if you're having a difficult time clicking on the link, um, you can. I'll put my email address in there as well as Mr. Harmon's email address. Um. I'm Ms. Gaddy, and I'll be supporting the fifth grade team as well. So I'll put my email address in there in the chat and Mr. Harmon's email address in there. And then you can email us. So then we'll definitely have your correct email, right? And then you could also email us your question if you can't access the Google form right now. So I'll put that in the chat right now also. Ms. Gaddy? Yes. Um. Uh, uh, for the for the web the the website we, we y'all send uh, for email address is it the student's email or the parent the parent the parent oh, okay mm -hmm. yes, thank you I have a question yes ma'am this Chromebook that we have is asking for an email that is at Sugar Creek so it's not letting her login past that first page. That's her email address. Like, whatever she logs on to uh, get on the computer. She doesn't have an email address to the school. Yeah. I mean, go back to the, go to the slide that has the um, help desk ticket uh -huh. link on it. If you fill out the technology help desk support ticket, they can help you out with that. The emails and logging onto the computers and that type of thing. Okay. And it's, it's right here at the top, the SCCS support at the sugarcreek.org. I see it. Yep, and they'll give you support with getting your computer up and running. Okay. I have a question. Yes? Um, do we have to get school supplies like notebooks and pencils? If we do, do we have a list for it? That was a great question. On the first day of school, so that's the 17th on Monday, when you go to each of your teachers, as well as that second day, anything that your teacher wants you to get particular to their class, they'll let you know then, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, sweet, sweet baby. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome, baby. You ready to get out? Yeah. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. I have a question. Yes. Um, so the students are coming to the school on the 17th, right? 
No, or, no. no, no. Okay, that's what I was just. I was just because I thought it was canceled. The coming back to the school. Right. It's all remote. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Y'all yeah. have a good rest of your day. You too. Thank you. Uh, I think you believe you want to be more. Oh. Hello. Yes. Hey, this is Brittany and Sydney Roseboro's mother. I have a question. Do we have to? Do they have to wear the uniforms top and bottoms, or just the top? No. I think. Miss Gaddy, was that waved? Okay, so students do not have to wear uniforms but they do need to wear what would be appropriate for a school dress down day. Okay. So Mr. Artist spoke about, um, or Mr. Samuels, I'm sorry, I can't remember. I think I'm gonna mention Spoke about making sure that you're not in your pajamas, that you are not in anything you know, inappropriate, graphic tees that may have inappropriate designs. So the rule of thumb so, is just, if you so they can have, So I prefer them just wear the uniform shirt. And that's what I'm doing for my son. Just put on yeah. your uniform shirt and you don't have to worry about it. So yeah, mm -hmm. you they can wear the uniform shirt, but they, they're not required to. The rule of thumb is if- Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let them wear it for they can know they're in school. Yep, that makes sense. I'm down for it. Well, thank y'all so much. No, and thank you. you on the link Friday, right? Of the schedule. Yeah. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, thank y'all. You're welcome. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mr. Roberts. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Fine. Uh, I got a question. I heard about lunch. So how will the kids get their lunch while they're at home? There will be some... Harmon, were you going to answer that? I'm sorry. No, uh-uh. <laughs> okay. Um, we are in the process of um, having some sites or ways that we can try to get lunch during remote learning time to students. That hasn't been all the way finalized yet, but it, it will definitely be finalized somewhere within that first week of school. And once we get that finalized, that information will be sent to you. Um, so Can at this time- Can address those at the end? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. Um, that might have just been some background noise. So yeah, once that's finalized as to where there will be spaces or um, places where students can get lunch, but those sites and things have not yet been finalized. So as soon as they are, which again should be some point uh, within that first week, you definitely will be made aware of that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. well, Bishop. I have a question. Yeah. Um, how much of the schooling will be uh, virtual with the teacher versus the already? Repeat that for me, please. How much of their schooling will be, um, will they be doing for already versus uh, actually being face to face with the teacher? So, are they going to be doing? more already or are they going to be doing more face-to-face -face with the teacher or is it going to be both it's going to be more face-to-face -face with the teacher the teacher will be there for that entire hour that he, the child is in that core class so the teacher will be teaching um assignments will be given classwork as well as homework and they will have exit tickets as well as tech so it will just be like regular school but they'll be at home so okay. the rule of thumb is we won't go over 45 minutes worth of iReady per week. So your your student shouldn't have more than 45 minutes worth of iReady practice per week. Okay. Thank you. I have a question. This is um, Memphis uh, Presley's mom. Um, I want to know um, if you guys can put that screen back up that had the, the schedule, I guess the 8 to 9 and 9 to... 10 back up for us. Hi, Miss Presley. My last, my original last name is Presley as well. How are you? <laughs> All righty. Good. I right, thank you so much. You're welcome.
Do we have any more questions? Okay. I guess we can say have a good evening once again. Ms. Gaddy, can we end? I have a question really quickly. Okay. Um, this is Shamika, Zaire's uh, mother. Um, I just wanted to know, I was told that it was going to be pre-recorded because I came in kind of in the middle. Um, on the website, I was trying to get the meeting numbers and the password, but it only went up to the fourth grade. So I kind of came in halfway through. Um, is there another orientation that you guys are going to present in tomorrow where I can catch everything? The presentation has been recorded. I'm going to um, email it to Ms. Gaddy as soon as it downloads to my computer and mm -hmm. administration will make sure that you guys get a copy. Okay, thank you. That way I don't know what came before me logging in so I can cover everything with him. Okay. Yep, all the recordings will be available on the school website once we get them downloaded so you'll be able to go back and watch it. Okay, and are they also still sending out hotspots? What I would do is, um, and Mr. Harmon, if you could go back to that slide with the help desk ticket, the time that technology and hotspots were given out was last week. However, I'm sure if you fill out that help desk ticket, they can kind of help you with next steps on what to do concerning still needing one. Um, so it, it's the SCCS support at the sugarcreek.org. So technology passed out was last week, but I would still fill that help desk ticket out and, and someone will contact you letting you kind of know what next steps to, to pursue. Um, okay, I, I forgot to get about that paper, but I forgot to get that portion. I got the laptop, but I forgot to get the hotspot. Yeah. yeah, so I would okay. just fill out the help desk ticket. I wanted okay, to speak you. about the, I'm sorry, the hot spots. So last week when I went to pick up my son's um, homebook, there weren't any more hot spots available. I did fill out a piece of paper um, for one, and I was told that once there was more in that because I was already on the list to receive one, that we would get one. That you would get one? Yes. Okay, um, so if tech, if you spoke with tech, the technology department and that was communicated to you, then I'm sure that they'll have a way or a time that they'll probably have you all picking those up. It's kind of a, we're still part of the same school, but the way that they handle um, the technology distribution is a little um, different than what we're discussing here. So that's why I'm directing you to the help desk ticket because they can give you that more specific information as to when um, you would be able to, to get that, especially if they already said that you were able to get it. So that SCCS support at the sugarcreek.org, I will go ahead and contact that, um, use that to contact the technology help desk to see when you would be able to pick your hotspot up. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. No problem. So I have one quick question. Um, my daughter was in intervention last year, and I seen where the, the lady had the schedule of the time frame when the child would go to intervention. How would that work with the school schedule that was put up? Okay, so um, intervention is in the afternoons when they have small groups. So the entire grade level will have small groups and their small group would be the intervention group. So they wouldn't be missing any of their core classes nor their specials. That will just be their small group for extra help. Okay, and, thank you. And your child will receive a specific schedule for that. Okay, so how would I know if she still qualifies for it? I feel like she still qualified for it, but how would I know if the schools uh, think that she still qualifies? Okay, you will definitely receive an email with all the information from the intervention teacher. Okay. So, yeah. Because I know Mr. Harmon had her over the summer for English. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Are there any more questions? Ms. Gaddy, I don't think there are any more questions. Ms. Timmy, you can go ahead and, and um, if there are any more questions, um, thank you again for coming to the fifth grade open house. We appreciated seeing you. We are super excited for this school year. Um, and again, my email as well as Mr. Harmon's email is in the chat. So if you think of any last minute questions, please go ahead and email them and make sure that you complete the Google form link that was also placed in the chat by Mr. Harmon. And we will see you on the 17th. Bye-bye.